up until now, mm. China's mostly focused on electrification yeah. of cars. Yeah. But is ultimately the goal hydrogen fuel cell. So it has a market that's very big. The market is huge. The key is to sort out the factors that have been hindering the development of fuel cell vehicles in the most appropriate markets. We should establish a hydrogen society. Compared to the hydrogen society, the electric society has been established. But it would be a process for the hydrogen society to be established. Next step, we will promote the adoption of hydrogen vehicles in selected trial regions instead of all over the country. We will work on setting up the whole system, including hydrogen production, storage, transport, and refueling, as well as a car transportation network. Based on China's uh, energy structure, having no oil, based on pollution and cities being a problem. Do those two things add together to make fuel cells the best option for China in the future? What I want to stress is that it's not only fuel cells, it would be electric as well. The electric and fuel cell cars are both important. They have their own focuses. For example, in cities, people prefer to take electric cars, while intercities, people prefer fuel cell cars. They are based on market segmentation. Do you think it's possible that some of the achievement, the progress that China has made in developing its new energy vehicle industry, mm. that somehow prompted the U.S. to be a little bit more concerned and to want to do things to try to contain China's development. Of all the American and European friends I've been in touch with, there isn't anyone who believes there should be concern because of China's development. They, in fact, think if China doesn't develop, then that is a big problem. Coping with climate change is our common responsibility. We must recognize that we are one of the world's largest emitters of carbon dioxide. We have a responsibility to reduce emissions. We have a responsibility to contribute to ecological civilization, which is why we have been working hard in this area for more than five years. But last year in China, uh, the sale of new cars in China fell for the first time in almost 30 years. Do you think that was an important signal for development? Actually, I think it's a natural phenomena. Just like you mentioned, the core issue of this phenomena is that the problems in the markets haven't been solved. It's because it's those problems that made the market hesitate and fall. At the same time, the sale of new energy cars has increased nearly 60 percent which is very fast growth. If there was a signal, it tells us that we need new energy cars.